Hey, what's up? I'm Derek from Sum 41, and I'm here to tell you about the time that I... Well, I didn't necessarily get lost on tour, but I ran away on tour and didn't really know where I was. I was with um, our old drummer, Steve-O, and we were in Tokyo, and it was probably, I mean, we were about 21 years old, and it was our first time in Tokyo, and we got invited to this Yakuza bar that we wanted to go do, and our tour manager and the record company people wouldn't let us go. It was probably like two or three in the morning at the point, at that point, and uh, we just took off running down the street, and we they started chasing us. We ran through all these back alleys, and we ended up in this underground parking garage, and we were hiding under cars, and we could see their feet running by, and she was looking for us. They had no idea where we were, and then we took off again, and we ended up going to the Yakuza bar, and we got in, and once we were there, this huge fight broke out, and we weren't in it, but we got pushed into the pit of all these people fighting, and got dragged out, and that was our tour manager, grabbed us, and he actually followed us there and got us out, and he said, this is why I didn't want you guys to go there originally. <laughs> the, the proudest moment I would say in the band is uh, this is our 20th year of being in this band and we have a brand new record coming out. We're touring and it's better than ever and it's been bigger than ever and it's just starting. The album's not even out yet and it just feels like there's this great uh, feeling within the band but was also with all the fans. It's just this, I couldn't ask for anything more really than right now. I can think of one time we made our tour manager very angry. Um, we were in Florida and we were playing a big festival and we'd flown in late. I think we got in probably like one or two in the morning, but we wanted to go out and drink. So we were hanging out in somebody's hotel room and you know, it was probably now four in the morning. We've been really drunk and our tour manager had to get us up really early. So he was trying to round us up and get us into our own rooms and again he started chasing us we all split we all you know ran different ways and he's chasing one one of us and two of us were over here and we noticed that he left his door open for his hotel room so we took off a fire extinguisher in from the hallway and we just let it all off in his entire room so all this white powder everywhere his luggage was open his computer was open everything was just covered in white powder and uh, then we took off running. And he continued, he found out that his room had been uh, you know, extinguished and he came looking for us and he found us and he grabbed me and he threw me against the wall and he was, you know, he quit that, that, that night. And uh, I thought he was gonna beat us up, but uh, we ended up convincing him to stay. Um, and unfortunately for him, that wasn't the last time that he was in that kind of position. Well, when we started this band, uh, I was 16, and when you're that young, you sort of think that everything's going to last forever anyway. So when we started it, we thought this is what we were going to do. But I think the first real thing that happened was when I was 17, I got signed to EMI Publishing, and that was the first sign of, they, they you know wrote me a pretty decent sized check at 17 years old. So I thought, well, there is, you know, you can make some money doing this. So I thought that pretty early on that this was gonna be what I was gonna do.